Welcome to the Frank and Lizzie Show. Today in our series, Lymphedema Care and Management, we're going to be discussing a key concept, and that is how does the superficial lymphatic system drain lymphatic fluid or waste products from the lower extremity? Now, in a healthy system, lymph from the lower legs and feet is collected by the superficial lymphatic vessels, and you can see them outlined here. They travel, this is the ventral medial bundle, and they travel all the way to the inguinal lymph nodes for this territory. And so the territory is defined by several watersheds. And so what is a watershed? Well, think of it as a geographical border, an invisible line that separates one drainage zone from another. So to review the watersheds, we have the lower horizontal watershed, the sagittal watershed. That On the posterior side, we have the sagittal watershed which divides the body in half the lower horizontal watershed divides the upper and lower quadrants which you see here running around t12 and then you have the gluteal watershed that kind of pierces the gluteal in half and so the lower extremity <coughs> drainage zone for the inguinal lymph nodes includes everything below that lower horizontal watershed the sagittal and the entire leg on the posterior side on the anterior side, we have the lower quadrant, again, below the belly button. We have the whole leg, and we also have the external genitalia that drains into that regional lymph node. When lymphedema develops, let's just say after surgery or cancer treatment, or due to venous insufficiency that's not treated, the lymphatic flow becomes impaired. Swelling often starts in the foot, so we'll see it down here sometimes lower leg, and it progresses upwards. You may see it in the lower quadrant or the lower abdominal area. And patients may often say that they feel bloated. And also you have to ask because a large percentage of patients may get external genitalia swelling. So when lymphedema develops, let's say this regional lymph nodes on this right lower quadrant and leg is not working, then you have all this superficial lymph from the skin and soft tissue not able to drain. And because there's a border, the horizontal watershed, sagittal, and the swelling is in this compartment, anterior and posterior. So that's why it's important to get a certified lymphedema therapist to help you move all this lymph to another healthy quadrant. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, follow, like us. We're on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.